Pisces, hi, it's Lisa here from What's Her Name Tarot. I'm here to do your weekly reading for the week of Monday the 10th to the 16th of May 2021. These are general readings only, so just take with you what resonates. Check your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, any number synchronicities that may occur and cross watches are welcome too. Too many, so I'm a little stressed. <laughs> I've been on short days because I've still got to work in the fever clinic Friday, Saturday, Sunday. They couldn't find anyone to replace me. I've just changed jobs for a couple of months. And um, so I have to work short hours at the mental health unit and to make up my week. And I um, came out of work and I had a flat battery in the car. So it's taken me an hour to get home. <laughs> Call the roadside man out no one could help so I had to call him out but I'm home let's get these started so I can try and get some uploaded oh <laughs> right you get number five bat spirit a rebirth is assured love that love bats I looked at the picture without the writing and I was like oh that's upside down so I'll I held it up that way then so but no it's this way and you get number five a rebirth is assured so brand new beginning for something maybe second chance maybe third chance um, at something here or someone even but um, yep able to have a brand new beginning of some sort there with that rebirth so moontology Pisces you get the new moon in Pisces, meditate and contemplate. Love that too. It's like, but that may um, bring about the rebirth that's about to happen there with the bat spirits. So love that match. Okay, Pisces, let's see what we've got for the week for you. So Pisces, overall, you could be dealing with a Virgo. You have got the Hermit here doing some soul searching, some self-reflection here, some time out, meditation for yourself here with this okay but knowing that there's light at the end of the tunnel and which way you're able to now head towards straight up that rebirth is assured heading towards some sort of brand new beginning that you're able to come across or have there beautiful past energies you've got the king of cups judgment and the eight of cups so in the past there may have been a um, loving situation that you were quite um, in control of or felt like that things were under control there but there might have been some judgment happening somebody might have actually been coming in and judging you and um, in the end something was walked away from whether that's someone walking away from you or you walking away from someone but some sort of an emotional attachment that um, is being left behind there and it may have come from um, somebody being quite judgmental present energy five of cups princess of cups and the three of pentacles yeah going through some sort of emotional loss and grief here maybe uh, what you have walked away from here or being left behind from here again but there's new love here on offer so whether this is you offering love to someone or someone's coming in and offering this love to you could be a child could be a pet pets are very loving but um there is this offer here and to work together and make things work but um that three of pentacles card talking about making sure all the details are in place and the planning is done to build something solidly from there and I love it, the future energies, Ten of Wands, the Universe and the Three of Wands. So this burden that you've been carrying, this heavy weight on your shoulders, it is coming, it's approaching the end of that cycle there. Okay, it'll happen as if it's meant to happen. It, um, what's that saying? If it's meant to be, it will be. Or it'll happen when it happens. And um, that world is happening for you in the background. It's turning and making sure things keep 
um, moving and seeing the bigger picture seeing the situation for what it really is maybe seeing a person for who they really are it may be in a good way it may be in a in a negative way but um definitely seeing things clearly things are finally starting to click and um what is it the puzzle pieces are finally clicking together linking up okay so pisces we will clarify each of these cards Okay, so Pisces, overall, the Hermits, meditate and contemplate with Moontology there, very much the case maybe overall for the week, clarified with the Nine of Wands, Queen of Pentacles, Knight of Wands, so overcoming all these hurdles and obstacles, getting onto solid ground, being proud of your achievements and how far you've come, because it may have been one hell of a ride, hell of a rocky ride to get um, to where you are now. But um, you've got that confidence and stability to stay on board and see something through. Beautiful. Past energies. We've got this King of Cups. Six of Cups, Two of Pentacles, the Sun. Could be an ex trying to come back into the situation. Could have been a reconciliation of some sort. But things may have been out of control, out of balance. Um, you wanted this happiness and joy and this um, sense of freedom here with the sun energy. Others of you may be brand new, um, fond, brand new fond memories, but fond memories or brand new butterflies in your tummies feeling um, with that six of cups. But being in the past energy and the way that that has flowed, I think it's possibly um, that love that you had back there possibly maybe trying to come back into your life you might have been saying no because you've got this um, opportunity with bat spirit for that rebirth so you might actually yeah not wanting a bar of it maybe so judgment got the ace of wands six of swords king of pentacles yeah somebody might have come in and apologized here whether that's you whether that's them but again maybe you didn't want a bar of it and moved away with that six of swords move towards your own success and um, good fortune there with the king of pentacles but again may not be wanting a bar of um, somebody trying to come back in, into your life there and the eight of cups clarified with the eight of cups nine of swords three of cups yeah you've walked away from a situation here that just wasn't serving you it caused you a lot of stress and anxiety a lot of overthinking keeping you awake at night but now that you've let that energy go you may be coming out with this three of cups giving you reason to celebrate celebrating the success of being able to let go of something or someone so into your present energies five of cups you get the knight of cups eight of wands knight of swords so two knights balanced each side of that eight of wands so very much saying making sure that that communication is open honest and clear everyone's on the same page there might be some very fast communication rapid communication that is happening possibly around love with this knight of cups also offering that there but um you know it's also saying don't don't rush into things slow down think things through and make sure that everyone is on the same page um, with that so we're going to the princess of cups you've got the star four of pentacles five of swords so it could be dealing with an aquarius but knowing that there's the hierophant just dropped out could be dealing with a taurus as well but um you've got your wishes and your dreams and your hopes starting to stand up for your own beliefs but um you're still hanging on to something or someone you've just come from clarifying five of cups maybe that whatever that loss is there but you're still hanging on to that energy um and it is causing this battle this may be an internal battle um that you are going through to allow that energy to be released but um you have got hopes and dreams and wishes in the background there maybe for that to be able to be released Go to the three of pentacles the judgment four of wands the emperor could be dealing with an aries 
but starting to get an open mind keep an open mind listening to both sides of the story by all means but um you know you had the judgment card back up here where people may have been judging you so it does work both ways don't judge others as well but keep that open mind may bring in a sense of stability and um, step up in commitment maybe whether it's an existing relationship something brand new maybe a job offer buying a house but you're getting control of the situation and we're actually heading towards very strong masculine energy with that um, emperor card there but um, very confident very level-headed love that so Pisces future energies ten of wands wow look at your double clarifications ten of wands again five of wands death card yeah so where you're feeling like you are carrying this journey oh, carrying this journey carrying this load on your own throughout this journey there's been conflicts disagreements a lot of drama involved here but with the death card could be dealing with a Scorpio being able to release that energy those ten of wands both saying definitely coming to the end of that cycle and ready to begin this brand new chapter a rebirth is, is assured with that spirit riding into that brand new beginning that rebirth right there so love that and it's riding into the universe so um, what we're clarifying now with the Hierophant, Eight of Swords, Six of Pentacles so again could be dealing with a Taurus but standing up for your own beliefs following your own heart Okay, where you feel like you can't go forward any further things may be getting out of balance so making sure it's equal give and take and finding other ways around things if needed to get to your destination there okay um, take that blindfold off and you can see clearly how to get to your final outcome with that and seeing clearly is all three of wands as we clarify that wheel of fortune eight of pentacles and the devil could be dealing with a capricorn but there's good fortune good luck um, happening coming your way or pushing you forward into that energy but um, don't be so focused and dedicated on one particular thing that you do miss opportunities that pass you by because it may bring in this energy of feeling stuck and bound to something um, because you're missing some opportunities here with the eight of pentacles so focused and dedicated on one area but that wheel can push you forward through that so we'll see what the universe has to say you get the full eight of wands justice could be dealing with a libra but ready to take a risk take a chance or a leap of faith jumping in two feet and all but make sure that everything is out in the open and very clear before maybe taking that risk there and getting a good outcome with that with the Libra card the justice card okay things are balanced here and good karma good reward for your hard work that you've put in and maybe legal maybe um, financial it may just be a successful outcome for something that you're ready to take that leap of faith with so Pisces love that so we'll see what the Star Temple has to say for you. So you get number 23, the Jade Star. Surrender. I'm ready to let go with self-compassion. Love that. Maybe this Five of Cups that you're ready to let go now. And with self-compassion coming out with that justice overall love that so beautiful so Pisces that's what I have for you for the week I do hope it helped if you click that like and subscribe button down there thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time see ya bye